an unloved chunky old television set which is no longer needed. It's ended up at a recycling plant in Sittingbourne where household appliances spend their last few days. These glass screens are tricky to recycle but not anymore. This is the world's first commercial furnace able to separate glass from lead. Molten liquid glass comes out at one end, lead at the other. Well, there's a global problem with TV glass. Traditionally, it used to go back into making new TVs, but nobody's buying the CRT television styles anymore. It's all about the flat panels. So that glass needs to be recycled. It's got 20% lead content. So lead's pretty nasty stuff. So it's actually a hazardous waste, would you believe, old TVs. The plant, which is owned by Sweet Kosakoski, can process up to 4,000 CRT or cathode ray tube television or computer screens every day. The granulated leaded glass is heated to 1,000 degrees centigrade. The glass is then turned into aggregate for road surfaces. The lead is more valuable to the tune of £1,300 per tonne. On average, each CRT television screen contains about one kilogram of lead. Once this is broken down, it can then be sold on and used predominantly in batteries. The company employs 170 staff, some of whom were taken on following the closure of Thames Steel in Sheerness. Today, the business minister was given a tour of the site. This is a leading edge technology here. This is the green economy in action. We're seeing a company now making money, serious money, out of recycling and doing good for the environment at the same time. Two million pounds has been invested in developing this equipment, a furnace at the heart of the green economy. Tom Savidas in Sittingbourne for Meridian Tonight.